you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tatiana and in this video by the title you guys already know i'm about to be just basically getting and ready for the day right now i'm looking a little like and my skin is oily right now my hair i need to fix it because i tried to attempt to do some baby hairs on it and it just is not a go for me so i need to try to like um take the baby hairs out if i can and try to do no baby hairs or something like that i don't know we're just gonna see um and basically just get on ready with me because it's the end of the day right now it is currently almost nine o'clock p.m and around this time this is usually the time that i start getting on ready and things like that because then i have to wake up in the morning for work so yeah this is like the perfect time for me to get on ready and everything so yeah i'm just basically about to be showing y'all like how i get on ready and everything at the end of my day and then i'm also gonna be chatting with y'all a little bit and updating y'all like what's been going on in my life because i know i haven't been posting so much on here it's been like really like scarcely yeah it's just been so much going on y'all so yeah let's just get into the video so i can tell y'all what's been going on and i also want to tell y'all some of my goals for 2021 because i have some goals so we're gonna talk about that and whatever else come to mind i don't know we're just gonna talk we're gonna chit chat okay so get your tea get your popcorn whatever put me on y'all tv if y'all trying to you know relax and yeah let's just get into this video so what's been going on with me lately i have been super super busy y'all um with work basically i just started this job if you guys watch my other videos i don't know if y'all knew then watch my other videos of like my nursing school i have a whole playlist about that my nursing um journey and things like that so y'all can watch those videos and see why i've been so busy but to keep it short i just finished my um cna program or whatever and i literally got a job like maybe 15 days after I got my license. Like it was quick. Like I was really trying to work quick, honestly. Or just get into the workforce really quick. I was tired of sitting on like, <sighs> it was stressful. But um, so that's what I basically have been doing, just working. And I got my license in December. So basically after like, my class ended up like on the 14th or something like that in December. So I basically was just like chilling in December. So I was like, this is the perfect time for me to like apply for jobs and stuff like that. You know, so that's what I did. And then I got hired like 15 days later. And I'm working now. So I'm working full time. And then I'm also going to school full time. So I don't have no time at all like to do anything. And I've been feeling really bad because I haven't been posting on my YouTube as much my channel as much so i was like you know what i gotta post something and i don't want to just post anything that's like you know boring to be boring anything like that i want to post like good content so i got some videos in mind that i want to do um i'm not gonna tell y'all but i got some challenges that i want to do um i did attempt to vlog today y'all and it was not like working out for me I don't know what happened. It's just, I don't know. I guess it wasn't much to really do today. And I was being lazy, honestly. So I was like, you know what? I'm done with this vlog. Like I was literally vlogging for like maybe two hours. And then I just decided, you know, I'm not picking up the camera no more. I'm done. Like today is over with. I'm not vlogging. I'm not uploading this. Like I'm just over it right now. Because I don't want to give y'all, like I said, like dry content, you know? So yeah, I attempted to vlog today because I want to get back into vlogging. That's what I basically started my channel on vlogging. So I would love to get back to that. It's just I don't want to be like vlogging nothing. You know what I mean? So I got to be doing something like adventurous or something. I don't know. Something fun that people are going to want to watch and be interested in. I don't know. I just feel like sometimes I'll be boring. Other people will like comment on my videos and be like oh you should do more vlogs and stuff and i'm just like y'all really like watching me do nothing like driving around in my car i need to do stuff and right now you really can't do anything because of this whole covid situation so yeah and speaking of covid y'all so i was watching um 
someone's YouTube. What's her name? I am Chelsea. I love her um, channel because she do basically her channel is just all vlogs or whatever. But she's like a cool. So I was watching her and um, she had mentioned in her vlog it was like the guy was saying on the radio that um, they're gonna end the mandate for the mask to wear your mask. So basically, that just means like we're not gonna be required to wear a mask anymore. So I was like, eh, I don't know about that. Like. I mean, I hate the mask, don't get me wrong, but people need to wear their mask because this virus is still going around and I know they created a vaccine or whatever. I personally haven't taken it. Um, I'm waiting. I'm not taking it right now because it's fairly new. So I'm definitely waiting literally like a week on the job. My employer, she came to me and she was like, yeah, uh, we're getting vaccinated starting this week you want to sign up and I was like no and she looked at me like honey you're in healthcare now like you need to be vaccinated and I was just like when is the next one I know like when you're in the healthcare field you know those vaccinations and stuff like that each and every one that they have on the market people that's in the healthcare field need to be taking them like or not even need to be taking them it's basically required to take them so I was just like and eh, when the next one Cause I want to wait. I don't mind taking the vaccine. I just want to wait, you know? So she was like in March and I was like, yeah, that's, that's a little better, but it's still too early. But I'd rather wait till March than freaking um, take it right now this month in January. So I was like, yeah, I'll just wait till March. She was like, okay. So yeah, I have to take the vaccine. I'm not against it, but it's just, I don't, you know, want to take it right now. I think it's just too early for me because you never know it could be recalled or anything on that stuff this was the quickest vaccination or not vaccination but the quickest vaccine we made so you want to be safe out there you know but for those who have had um, got the vaccine how is it like how did you feel afterward if you got it comment down below how did you feel afterward getting the vaccine I know everybody body is different so what happens to one person may not happen to the next person and vice versa, you know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, so I've just been really busy with school and stuff. School came back so freaking fast, y'all. Like I literally only had two weeks or three. No, it was less than three weeks. It was like 18 days, I think. And them 18 days went by super fast, y'all. Like I tell y'all, went by super fast. Hold on, I gotta get my comb because I need to comb out my edges and try to be doing because they're not looking good. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, school came by like super fast, y'all, for me. And I was surprised. I was like, I don't think I'm ready right now. Cause I'm taking chemistry this semester. I'm taking politics this semester and I'm taking English advanced composition and I'm already over it like my teacher in English just had me do an assignment today and I've been slacking already like it's just been like really horrible for me it's because I'm working full-time too so I don't know I might have to like tell my manager I need some days off but I told her during my interview like you know I could work full time but I wasn't thinking my classes was gonna be like this like they already starting off hard so I don't really have time to do anything at all like oh it's just so stressful and I decided to take um a morning shift my old jobs I used to work night shifts and I got tired of that honestly I told myself like my next job I'm doing morning shifts I'm gonna try morning shifts one time and honestly it goes by super duper fast y'all like and I feel like morning shifts should get shift differentials but I don't know why they do night shift like that I guess because working in the morning is normal and then working at night is not normal so I guess that's why they do the shift differentials at night I don't know but um yeah I'm like, mornings is like hard to get up too. Like, why can't we get um, shift differentials or anything like that? But yeah, that's what I'm currently up to at the moment. That's why I haven't been uploading and things like that because I've been so busy working and um, with school currently. So 
<sighs> and I just told myself today, like, I should have took a semester off. Like, I'm, I'm just over it. But I'm trying to finish this year and be done with it because I don't want to get, like, you know, in the habit of taking a semester off and things like that. And I haven't been doing that. It's been almost, well, it's been two years. And I've been going strong. What the heck? My hair got caught. I've been going strong and stuff like that. I haven't been taking any semesters off or anything. When the pandemic first hit and online school, you know, first started, like, I didn't take a semester off or nothing like that to, like, have a breather or anything. Like, I was like, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to try this. But I was already doing online classes for some of my classes. It just wasn't, it was the easy ones, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, that's just been going on with me. Um, some 2021 goals, even though it's like almost a month in 2021. And this is like, I want to say like, this is like my first video that I'm posting in 2021. Because, well not because, but um, I did post my playlist video or whatever. But um, that was just a simple video for me. Something fun, you know? But I didn't get to tell y'all in that video. Happy New Year's. I know I'm late. I'm a whole month late. Like, bear with me, y'all, okay? Just bear with me. Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope the New Year's is starting off right for y'all. Um, I do have some goals. Some goals. <laughs> some goals for uh the New Year. Um, I actually wrote something down, so I'm going to tell y'all. I got about maybe four or five goals I have on my phone. I actually need to like legit write them down and not be lazy and put them on my phone because writing stuff down is so much better than just typing all day. You know what I mean? So the first goal that I have is focusing on myself more. And what I mean by that is just literally, you know, what it, what it says. Focus on myself more. Like I feel like I'm always doing something for someone which is good. It's nothing wrong with that. But you have to take care of yourself first, you know? So I definitely want to focus on myself more, put myself first, and things like that. Because I will put someone else first before myself, and that's not cool at all. So I definitely want to put myself first and what Tatiana wants. Or, you know, things like that. You know, what's best for Tatiana? Cause I will make someone else happy before I make myself and that's sometimes that's not good but um yeah so I definitely want to focus on myself more and things like that my second goal is to increase my finances and what I mean by this is just to increase my annual finances in a way basically make more than what I made last year that's the goal whether I'm working at a job or even starting a business. And I honestly wanted to start a business, y'all. But I don't know, like, well, I have some ideas on like how, what type of business I want to start and things like that. It'll definitely be retail. But um, I'm just scared to start it. And I think this is everyone's biggest fear when they're like thinking to start a business. How do I get my stuff out there? Like, how do I promote and all of that? Like, I don't want to put too much money into promoting so people can buy and I don't want to like just have a whole bunch of inventory of things and people don't buy you know what I mean so I want to start off great and it's hard to do that when you don't have clientele so I have to build clientele and I know miracles happen and things like that so you can have clientele or whatever within like a week or two whatever it can come in a night. It doesn't matter. You can have clientele one day and be like, dang, I never knew this was going to happen. But look at me now, you know? So I definitely want to start a business. I'm just scared to. And I've been seeing a lot of people do that. Um, last year, I've been seeing a lot of girls, a lot of black owned businesses, which is great. It's excellent. Um, you do have to promote yourself. That's that's like mandatory if you want to get your stuff out there especially if you're not already like high up in clientele so you definitely want to promote yourself that's not a problem i just want to promote myself the right way i don't want to promote myself and pay all this money and then i don't get you know the results that i want so yeah i definitely want to increase my finances rather with a job or with the business like i stated 
empty. My next goal is moving out. I know I just moved in, y'all. <laughs> well, y'all don't know that because unless you follow me on my Instagram and my um, Snapchat and all that. Mainly Instagram. I will leave everything down in the description box below so you guys can check my social medias out. And y'all, follow me on social media, especially Instagram because my Instagram be dead for some reason. I don't know. So, yeah, I definitely want to move out probably once my lease is up within like, I think it's up in four or five months, something like that. I got to check again because I just calculated it. Is it? No, it's four months. Yeah, four months. So it's up in four months. And I definitely want to move out, y'all. Like, ouch. I hate when I put, I shouldn't even put that, um, that got to be gel because it just make your edges crunchy and that's not cute at all. Like, I need something else. Y'all, if y'all know anything else to do baby hairs with on a wig, what product to use, let me know in the comments because I used, um, got to be the black tube bottle of gel. And my edges are crunchy. Like this is not cute at all. This is not cute at all. But um, like I was saying, um, again, I'm gonna move out because this was my like my first apartment, y'all. And usually with your first apartment, not all the time for everyone. I know it's different for everybody. Some people had a first apartment and live in there. Typically they live in there for like the longest, you know? that's they first so but um for me it's just not enough space and i definitely need more space i would like a two bedroom i have a one bedroom now so i would like a two bedroom um and a better area because the area that i live in now is just it's just not it you know so i definitely would like a better area more space um i want a beauty room that's why I said two bedrooms. I don't know, like, like, I want a beauty room, but I don't even do makeup. I used to do makeup in high school. Not like that though, but like, you know, a little bit of foundation or whatever. But now I don't even, I don't even like attempt to put foundation on my face at all. And it has a lot to do with my skin. Like I have acne and stuff like that. So I don't see the point of putting makeup over acne and things like that. But I definitely want a beauty room. I just. I don't do makeup maybe I should get into it I don't know I'm not one of those type of girls that's a like a makeup guru or something like that like makeup is expensive I actually went to Ulta and um I went to get some concealer for my part on my wigs like that's literally all I went there for and I was like going through the aisles or whatever looking for the concealer and I was like looking at the makeup Makeup is expensive. I'm like, oh heck no. Like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I can't right now. I am not getting into makeup right now. Even though I know the product lasts, you know, for like maybe a year, even longer. But uh, I can't get into that right now. It's too expensive. They got so much, like so many companies that you can try for makeup. It's just so much, it's just like hair, you know? It's literally just like hair and I don't got money like that to just be trying to be a guru with my hair done all the time, my makeup done all the time, nails done all the time. Like I'm a regular girl, a normal girl. So right now I just don't got time for it. It'd be nice, but I don't got time for it. And I also had to cut off on one thing or cut back on one thing y'all. And these right here, my lashes, these are falsies. These are the strips. I had to actually cut back on getting my um, individual lashes because it started to like get expensive in a way, you know? I was spending maybe $80 or like $75 or something like that on fields every two weeks and I have very oily skin. So however your skin is, that's the term is like the longevity of like your lashes, your individual lashes. So my skin is very oily. So it was mandatory that I get mine done like every two weeks. And I was like, uh-uh, this is too much money for me. I can take a break, you know? I'm just gonna have to take a break and just probably wear some falsies. I like them, they're pretty much like, they're not the same, but the difference to me is that you wake up with the individual ones and these ones, you gotta take them off. 
unless you want to be weird and sleep in them but um, I'm not doing that so yeah so that's the difference to me also today y'all I was vlogging but I'm not gonna upload it because I told y'all I don't like how the video came out or whatever it's just or not how the video came out I just wasn't doing enough and I don't feel to like post content that's like boring so yeah um Anyway, it was windy today and my lashes, this one, like literally came up. And I was like, like what the heck? This is embarrassing. With my strips, I don't have, or not with my strips, but with my individuals, I don't have that problem at all. Like they just stay on. And then within like days, they start to shed. And that's what really was getting to me because like I said, I have very oily skin, so. They were just like, just like coming out real too fast for me. And I was like, I'm going back and forth every freaking two weeks. I dang near needed to go back like every week and a half. And it was like that bad. So yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about. I know I was talking about my goals, but how did I get onto lashes? I don't know what just happened. Anyway, um, the next goal is to lose weight. Y'all, since this whole freaking COVID pandemic has started. I gained so much weight back. Like I lost weight after high school and then gained it all back. Probably some more. Like I don't even check the scale no more. It's, it's getting to that point. I don't even check the scale no more. Like I'm just over it. And um, a lot of it had to do with just sitting at home. Like a lot of people didn't have jobs and things like that. Um, stress, that's stressful when you don't have no money. Like, who don't want to have money? Like, that's stressful. You're gonna, you know, and everybody takes stress a whole different way. And, um, it's kind of weird because I found myself just eating and not even like, like, being hungry. You know what I mean? It's just, it's weird. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. But I found myself just eating and not even necessarily be hungry, just eating, like it's, it's weird. So I definitely want to lose weight. Um, when I lost all that weight after high school, I was like, I want to say 160. Yeah, 160, that was my lowest, was 160. And when I look back at those pictures and those videos, I was like, never again. I'm not getting that skinny. That's too skinny for me. I mean, it, it, that was even overweight still for me. They would say, the doctor would say, because of my um, age, of course, and my height. I'm like, what, 5'6", five, 5'7"? Five, so they want me to be like 130. But yeah, I have to show y'all a picture of how skinny I was. But this was 160 on me. I don't know if y'all could see. Okay, yeah. If I can insert a picture, I will, but that's basically how I looked super duper thin and skinny. It just wasn't cute to me. Like, I mean, well, at the time I thought I was cute. I was like, this is good. I lost weight, but I was dropping it too fast. And that's another thing. I was dropping my weight too fast. Um, I lost like over 70 or 90 pounds within four months or three months. That's, that's too fast, you know? So... Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't want to be 160, probably. I just probably want to lose it the right way. And it's nothing wrong with losing weight slowly in the proper way. But y'all, yeah, after high school, like I was dang there taking care of myself. At that point, I went back home with uh, my dad and we was just working, literally working. That's all we did every day was work. There was nothing else to do like I don't know, there was nothing else to do. I pretty much was not thinking about college. So I was just like, I'm just gonna work. I didn't have no goals. I was just working to work to just get money and you know go by. I was not thinking about a place. I had just graduated high school, so I wasn't thinking about all that. I was just thinking about working, maybe getting a car, and that's what I did. And um, that's it. I wasn't thinking about anything else future goals or anything like that and I didn't think about that until um I want to say I was like 20 21 I didn't start thinking about that and by that time I was just like you know what 
I have worked so many warehouse jobs and I was like, you know what? I am over working these warehouse jobs. Like I'm over it. And I was doing my night shifts. That's where it all started. I was doing my night shifts. Your girl was working at UPS. I was working at this plastic factory. I was working at Amazon. I was working at Tesla. I was working everywhere. And I was making good money, but the labor was hard. So I was making really good money, working over 10 hours, 12 hour shifts, sometimes even longer. And I didn't have time to eat. I didn't have time to do anything. I didn't become skinny because I wanted to become skinny. I became skinny because of work. Like I literally, after high school, I, I was just working. And I literally, um, I literally just didn't have no time for like me to make a nice meal or anything like that. Like I was literally eating, no not noodles, I was literally eating like salads, chicken i barely was eating beef or um pork anything like that i was mainly eating chicken and salad but once i started noticing that i was losing weight i was actually happy so then i did start you know changing my diet and things like that to eat healthier but it, it was bad y'all like i was burning more calories than consuming calories nothing's wrong with that when you're on a weight loss journey but you gotta slow down. You can't try to overdo it and things like that. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I was doing and I have freaking lost so much weight, but now I just wanna do it the right way because I don't wanna be like that thin anymore. And my head was like literally big because it didn't catch up to the size of my body as it was dropping. So it just didn't look right. Like it looked a mess. And people were even telling me, like, my family and my friends was like, Tatiana, you look sick. Like, you look like you're on something or something like that. And I, you know, I was like, y'all tripping. Like, I look good. But I was looking a mess. Like, I don't know. So, yeah, I definitely want to lose weight. Some other goals that I have. Let me see. I probably have, like, one more that I wrote on here. My last goal is to finish my last three semesters. I have three more semesters. I graduate and um or i don't graduate until may of next year that's when the graduation ceremony is but um i am going to be finished with my classes and get my degree apply for my degree in um december of this year so three more semesters even though summer is not really a semester they say i take summer because i'm trying to get out of here like i'm trying to get into the nursing program and be done like it's just so much work y'all so yeah, my camera's gonna die, y'all. But all B's and all A's, that is my goal. So yeah, let me charge my camera because it's about to die and I'm just brushing out my edges as y'all can see. But once I come back on camera, I'm gonna be washing my face, taking off these lashes and all of that. So I will see y'all in like a couple of minutes because my camera needs to charge. Okay y'all, so I'm back. Um, I just basically, wrapped my hair back up after I brushed out the edges with all that gel and stuff like that. And I just realized y'all that the whole time I was talking to y'all, I was just doing my hair. So the last thing that I need to do is basically just wash my face, brush my teeth, get cleaned up and call it a night. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to take off these lashes. This is like the saddest part of the day. Like, just look. Let me zoom in for y'all make it cringy. Okay. Oh my gosh. That looks horrible. This one was already coming off. I didn't even have to pull it that much. It's just stuck in the corner. I hope it's not stuck to my lash. Cause I still got some falsies as y'all can see. Some individuals stuck on. But hopefully they come off. I've been putting coconut oil and stuff like that. <laughs> Yo, lashes totally make a difference. So yeah, let me just wash my face right now. I'm about to use this benzoyl peroxide. Um, why does it like it got brighter in here? Maybe it was the lashes that I couldn't see. That's crazy.
all right you guys that wraps up the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i know i talked like way too much in the video but y'all i don't know why i just always tend to talk so much i actually look back at the footage of me in the restroom talking to y'all and it was like 30 minutes of me talking and mind y'all i wasn't even washing my face i was just like doing my edges and stuff and getting them all that glue out and things like that so yeah i was just talking like too much but anyway i hope y'all enjoyed the little chit chat and just seeing me get unready for the day basically that's just how i normally get unready at the end of my day and yeah i'm actually gonna try to like make a video schedule for you guys so i can just you know always have content that i know i'm gonna post and not just be winging it because that's basically what i'm doing right now is basically just anything that come to my mind then i record it but i want to have like a set schedule for y'all so i don't be like abandoning y'all y'all know so yeah thank y'all for um sticking around and like bearing with me um for my new subscribers thank y'all for subscribing you're helping your girl's channel out and things are gonna get way much better y'all like i really appreciate all the love and support that everyone has been giving me throughout my channel all of the new subscribers and things like that just binge watch my videos right now my current videos that i have and i promise y'all i will upload more videos it's just taking me a while because of work and school but i promise y'all i'm not done with youtube i'm gonna upload more it's just taking me a while but yeah um if you have any video ideas that y'all want to see me do comment those down in the comment section below because i will look forward to like you know trying new things and just or hearing what y'all want me to do you know so or want me to create so yeah um like i said i have a couple of videos in mind but not too many so ideas is definitely appreciated so go ahead and comment if y'all have some ideas and i will definitely try to put that out for y'all um other than that that's pretty much it that wraps up this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video bye or Bye. <laughs> Bye. Good night.